Auto exposure, yeah. Hey guys, what's up? It's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. I am trying to make a business out of this channel. Anyway, today I am coming at you with a product review. Now I've only done, I think this is my third product review. I only review things that I really, really believe in and really use myself and really love. So that thing is brownies facial patches just a little insert moment. So I actually did not have this code before I made the original video. I just made the video because I really love frownies. And then I posted on my Instagram story that I was wearing them and I got in contact with the brand and they gave me a code. So if you use my code EMILY10, I'll leave a link below, you can get 10% off your order of frownies. So yeah, enjoy. I am 28 years old. I'm an actor. I'm in showbiz. My face is on camera a lot. And I know a lot of people my age and younger get Botox, they get fillers. On top of being expensive, which I'll get into in a second, I'm just not ready to do that, I don't think. A, it's toxic. And I just feel like once you start doing that, it, you kind of like don't go back. And I'm just not, I'm just not there. But I do, like I was watching back my video that I made wrapping up the book that I read in March and I just had a moment where I was like oh my god I need to do something about my forehead wrinkles so I kind of was just searching for natural Botox alternatives that were a little less invasive and I found frownies and so I just kind of wanted to talk about them a little bit with you today so just a little bit about the company frownies they were founded by a woman in 1889 and since then six generations like like the founder's daughter her daughter her daughter her daughter her daughter like they they've just kind of taken over the company throughout the past hundred and something years that alone I just think is so awesome that <laughs> they've been around for so long they've been sustained for so long founded by a woman back in, at that time I just think is incredible and just like the family sort of oriented feel of the business is just so awesome to me so I thought that was cool. Basically, frownies are, as they say, a simple and effective way to get rid of, originally it was frown lines, but they do have other, I guess, frownies for other parts of your face, which I have not tried yet, just because I don't feel like I need to yet, but maybe in the future I will and I'll review those. But today, I'm just talking about their sort of like original brownie for the forehead. So this box, it's definitely their most purchased item. I think it had something like 1600 reviews and then the other patches had like 400 reviews. So this is definitely like the most used, most popular item. These are $23.50 per box. And I even found like a coupon code online and I think the shipping might've been like $5. That's 144 patches per box. So I did the math, that's about 24 days if you use six patches like I do. And it comes out to about $28. Let's round it up, $30 a month if you're doing like a full forehead of frownies which there are a couple of options you could kind of do which i'll get into later but if you're doing like the full forehead like cast of frownies it's about 30 dollars a month botox alternatively lasts for about four months sometimes three months though so you know whatever but let's just call it four let's just call it four usually costs about 400 dollars, so that comes out to about 100 dollars a month i know some places vary so it's hard to give like an exact number but I would say about a hundred dollars a month. So it's 30% of the cost and it's non-toxic and just like non-invasive. So I just thought like, obviously I'm gonna give this a try. Like if I don't like it, it's $23 and then I never have to do it again. So basically just like a little informational spiel on what's actually happening when you use frownies. Frownies facial patches act like a splint or a cast holding the facial muscles smooth and relaxed, keeping you from expressing your wrinkles. So similar to Botox, it's kind of preventative and that it keeps you from using the muscles in your forehead so the wrinkles can kind of like smooth out. If your expression lines are faint, you may see results quickly, but they recommend everyone start by wearing the facial patches for 30 consecutive days and wear them at night when you sleep. And they really enforce that consistent use is necessary if you want to see results. If you have really deep wrinkles and expression lines, you'll need to wear them for like a few months to see results. And then they say, although you may see soothing results first thing in the morning, it is normal for the wrinkles to come back a little more quickly at first because it takes 
time for them to be retrained. So if you wear it for one night, you might wake up and it's like great, and then later that day, like 7 p.m. rolls along and it's like back to normal. Doesn't mean it's not working, it just means that it takes time and you have to be consistent with it. And they say it's like, it's just like fitness it happens over time. So like your face isn't just gonna change overnight. I feel like if that were the case, I'd actually be a little concerned about the safety of the product. So they say that those like initial results when you first take out off the frownies are like a sneak peek of what it will look like if you just like keep it up consistently. Yeah, it's just basically saying everyone's different. They kind of like learn like what's best for your face. If you do it consistently for a month, then maybe you go down to four nights a week and that keeps up the consistency and that's fine. I think you kind of just have to do what's best for you and like your skin and your situation. Yeah, and they just, they're really emphasizing that they're not a quick fix, long game vibes, but I will say that like, people rave about these results. A lot of people have that were previous Botox users just have stopped using Botox and just do these consistently. And I just think that that's so amazing because Botox is like really expensive <laughs> and um, toxic. And listen, I'm not saying I'm never gonna get Botox. I'm just saying that like, it doesn't make sense for me right now. And the thought of spending so much money to inject toxins into my forehead when like, I don't really feel like I need it, I'm good. Yeah, and they also emphasize that placement's really important. So like, it's really important to cover your whole forehead like in the mask uh, because a lot, a lot of people will just do it like in the middle of your they'll put like one little patch in your, I think it's called your 11 lines. And if that's like where your only lines are, like that's fine. But if you have lines going all the way across your forehead, you wanna make sure that you're covering like that entire thing. So that could be a little more expensive because you're using more frownies. But again, it's 30 bucks a month. I personally think that that's worth it. So it's just kind of figuring out what works best for your face shape, what works best for where your frown lines are. I find that this part of the movement is like really expressive in my face in addition to this so it's really important for me to do like my entire forehead because my lines also do go all the way across and kind of like curve around this way so like let's talk about application for a second they come just so you know in this like little like accordion you can either do like square or triangles to kind of fit it to your face i use i use rose water to just like spray a little bit on each one before i put it on and that seems to really work in terms of like you don't want to put too much water on it like you you don't really like drench it so I feel like it gives the right amount just kind of fan it out let it dry for like a few seconds before I put it onto my face the rose water is just nice in terms of like just getting it the right amount of wetness if that makes sense because if it's too wet it kind of like slides around and like doesn't stick as easily it's kind of like eyelash glue like you kind of want to wait for it to dry just like a little bit before you stick it on your eye so I've been using frownies for one week I've been using them every night sleeping in them taking them off the next morning taking them off is actually like really easy it doesn't hurt at all some people say they like to put water on it to make it easier to take off that's fine I don't find that I need that what I've discovered is that I actually don't think I have a lot of wrinkles in my forehead when my muscles are relaxed Training the muscles to just kind of relax and not move so much I think has been really beneficial to me. I made a morning routine video I think like the second day I used them and I was just like I was like oh my god like my skin looks so good and I've I've just been getting like a lot of compliments on my skin this week. People have seen me and they're just like oh my god like your skin looks so good what are you doing and I've just been like frownies. It's not like I've had I don't think like a huge dramatic change but I I have seen little differences and like when I first wake up it feels like it doesn't feel numb like if I if I want to move the muscles in my forehead I can it's not like Botox where it's like you can't physically move them but it feels just like I don't really know how to explain it it definitely feels like a lot more frozen when I first wake up and then throughout the day it gets a little bit looser so I think it's just a matter of just wearing them more and more and like the next time I have an event that I have to go to or like I'm getting my picture taken a lot for example I will wear my frownies for like three hours like right before the event right before I put on my makeup and I think that that'll really help as an actor it really is nice what freaks me out as an actor about Botox is like if I get a really like emotional part like I want to be able to move my face and I feel like with frownies it's like because it's not even like I don't care about when I'm acting like as a character it's more like like my YouTube videos and like when I go to like events with like a carpet and stuff like I want I want everything to be like snatched 
when I'm acting on camera, like I don't really care. Like I like to be messy. I like to like ugly cry. I like to like do all that stuff on camera. So brownies are like a nice option for me because I can just use my forehead as, I mean, I can, I can move my forehead now. It just works for me as an actor because I know that if I need to emote, <laughs> normally I can it's just a more flexible option if that makes sense anyway I've had a really positive experience with these and I just kind of wanted to walk you through I guess like vlog style I took a few videos this week and a few photos every day of the progress and I tried different arrangements of the frownies every day so I just kind of wanted to walk you through what it was like just so you can see for yourself so I am really excited today because I got my frownies in the mail. So right now I'm just gonna open my frownies and I think I'm gonna try them for the first night tonight. Let's do a little unboxing. So it's actually like a pretty small package here. Oh my, this is so tiny. Cool, so I'm gonna try this later and just kind of see how it goes. Okay, welcome to night one of frownies. Here's my forehead. Okay, it's shiny because I just put oil on it. I hope that's okay for using them. You can see we have quite a bit of movement here. Moisten the patches with the rose water. I'm just using this like Mario Badescu rose water. It comes with a little pamphlet. Okay, it says to use, allow like moisturizer to absorb into your skin for 10 or 15 minutes before you apply the face patches. Massage facial lines gently with fingertips for 10 to 15 seconds to stimulate circulation and help relax facial muscles. This is literally it. Okay. I am like putting this on and I'm just like, there's no way this is gonna do anything. I know that's wrong, I know it's gonna do something, but it just feels like, Not the best work I'm gonna do because I like put this like in my hair. I can definitely already understand that I can't move the muscles on my forehead. Kind of the point, so that's good. It doesn't like hurt or feel weird. It's just kind of like I can't move my forehead. Oh so, yeah, let's let's see how it goes. Have a good night. Okay, good morning everybody. So I stopped with my frowny and let's take it off. Let's see. day one like I can obviously move my eyebrows but I don't have the impulse to move them as much I guess I feel like I did it well in the middle I got it tight I feel like the ends were not as tight okay yeah I think I really did the middle well because I actually like like it's kind of hard to like make a frown line right now. It's easier to move the outside. So I think t tonight I'm gonna focus on really pulling this up and sticking it down. Cause I feel like I did that with the middle but not really with the edges. Yeah, the impulse to move this part of my forehead is not gone, but like very, 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 very dull, if that makes sense. It's so early. Okay, I'll explain in more detail when I'm not this tired. Dang. Here. I definitely buy like I don't know 
six or seven yesterday. It was like just fully moving my forehead the way that I normally can. I do think, especially here, like the impulse to move my, th these specific muscles is like getting smaller and it's obviously like i feel like i'm expecting to like wake up and just not be able to move my eyebrows and i think that's a weird expectation obviously because it's not actually botox so, we'll see. okay it is night three of the frownies i think i think it it feels less weird now just because i my muscles are kind of used to not moving as much that this morning is the first morning that like it actually feels frozen like my forehead feels different than it did the first three mornings I woke up like I feel like the first three mornings I just didn't have the impulse to move my forehead but I could I could move my forehead now but it I don't know how to explain it it just feel it it feels like frozen a little bit I guess I don't know yeah Okay guys, I just got out of the shower. This is day, I think, eight or nine of the frownies. I've done like my whole week for you. I'm just doing um, an update on my frownies video. Okay. Um, no, it's fine, you're good. And I think I really just got like a really nice situation for me here. Like I feel like I finally figured out the way that works best for my forehead, which is kind of large, so I thought I'd share. So I have one square here, and then I have two squares covering here, a triangle here, and then two triangles here. That's the order in which I put them on as well, and this seems to really work nicely um, because it covers all of the parts of like my eyebrows that like want to like move up here, which has been kind of the the issue for me um this past week that i've been trying to figure out it obviously covers the whole line all the way through so this is really like a cast on my face and i just i feel like i just figured that out so i just wanted to share that with you guys so here it is so i find this on top of a few other things really helps my skin one is obviously spf i wear it every day i wear 38 spf every day even if i don't go outside even if it's cloudy even if i'm sick in bed whatever i always put on spf i wash my makeup off my face every night and i drink a lot of water those are three easy things to do i also really love rosehip oil and rosehip serums there's a lot of really cheap ones that you could find online i can link all the, the stuff down below and polish choice retinol treatment and i think it's the sunday Riley's eye retinol treatment that's also amazing for like wrinkles and stuff and just like evening out your skin so I, I find that out of those things on top of using my frownies I feel like I'm in a good place for my age uh, I'm not judging anyone that does this it's just not something I like I just don't want to inject my face at this age just because yeah it's just not where I'm at so for me right now I feel really good about where I am with the whole skincare aging journey I guess yeah I think I'll probably end up doing another check-in like in a few months just to keep you guys updated but yeah i hope that this was helpful to anyone that might be considering frownies i think if you're like thinking about frownies versus botox i would try frownies first i would try them for depend well, i mean i guess it depends like on how deep your wrinkles are but i would try them for like a month to three months and see if that makes a difference i think that this is such an easy thing harmless it's it's not even like a cream or a serum or anything that's like going into your bloodstream 
Like you're just basically, it feels like you have like cardboard paper mache on your face. It's not that, it's, it's not that hard. And it's less expensive, so I do feel like you gotta try it. You gotta just try it. Anyway, I hope this video was really helpful. If you have any questions about my experience, please feel free to comment down below. I'll answer anything that you have. Thank you, Frownies, for just giving us this amazing alternative to Botox. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.